to a new episode of Review. Today we will take a closer look at a Boeing 787-9, the Dreamliner of Air France. If we take a look at the box here, we can see we have the cutout, so we can get a glimpse of the aircraft inside, and we have the Air France branding on top. On the back side, we don't have an image of the aircraft, but we are provided with the original dimensions of the aircraft and a few additional details, which is, in my opinion, quite nice. Now, enough about the box, let's dive straight into it and take a closer look at the aircraft model itself. And here she is, the Boeing 787-9, the Dreamliner, in the current livery of Air France. Now, I actually had what feels like ages ago, a request to make a review about this aircraft model from Hyperwings in scale 1 to 500. I only got the aircraft model at the end of 2018 and now I've finally gotten around to actually make a review of it. So hopefully it will be a good one. Of course, if you like this video, then do feel free to leave a like. That would be very much appreciated. But now let's take a closer look at some of the many details this aircraft model has to offer. As always, we start off with the tail section and here we can see on the vertical stabilizer we have the iconic Air France branding. Within the wider blue line we actually also have the European flag integrated and then on the fuselage we have the full registration code of the aircraft. Now, if we move from the back of the aircraft all the way to the front of the aircraft, we can see along the fuselage the writing of Air France or the Air France branding. We then also have the aircraft type specification. We have the Air France KLM Group logo and the Sky Team logo as Air France is a founding member of the Sky Team Airline Alliance. On top of the fuselage, we find the nice detail of the uh, sat dome. That's always great to see. If we then take a look around the cockpit, we can also see some nice detailing around that. Of course, the cockpit windows are nicely detailed with the window wipers printed on. And just above the cockpit windows, we also have the emergency hatch to the cockpit. The engine nacelles also look very nice on this aircraft model. Of course, again, we have here an Air France logo. And we have the chevron nozzles, which we can see here if we look at the backside of the engine nacelle. That's a detail that is very difficult to pull off. But in this case, HAPA has really done an excellent job, in my opinion. And of course, then we also have the very nice detail of the engine fan blades, which we can see if we take a look from the front side of the engine. One of my personal favorite details on the Dreamliner are the wings, and they are certainly not letting me down on this 1 to 500 scale model from Hapa. If you look here at the top side of the wings, we can see a lot of nice details. We do have all the different flaps, snuts, and spoilers nicely carved out. We do also have the lines marking as to where to walk on the wing. Also, the underside of the wings are pretty decent. Here again, we have the different flaps, slats, and spoilers, but we also have the full registration code of the aircraft once again. Also, the landing gear on this aircraft model deserves to be mentioned. Here we can see the main landing gear just underneath the wings. And here we have the front landing gear. If I had to mention one thing that I could wish on that is actually that Harper would add a few more markings simply in the print, but the physical details themselves here with the landing gear are very good. And then last but not least, we do have the doors to the car compartments printed on here at the back side of the aircraft and here at the front side of the aircraft. So there we have it, the Boeing 787-9, the Dreamliner of Air France. I think it is a very nice looking aircraft. I think the Air France delivery suits the uh, Dreamliner. And the model itself is also very good. The print quality is excellent. All the details that have been printed on are great. Of course, there could be a few more here and there, but the main ones are really there. And the physical details of this aircraft model are also very, very good. So it's a very nice aircraft model to have in one's collection. Now with that, we've reached the end of today's episode. If you have enjoyed this video, then do feel free to leave a like, that would be very much appreciated. And if you're new around here, why not hit subscribe? That would be absolutely awesome. And next time on review, we will take a closer look at an Airbus A320-200 in the colors of a jet blue. Now until then, I'd like to say thank you very much for watching. Hope to see you soon again. I'm checking out and bye.